This is Dave Kleine, YellowRibbonJobs.com. This is one of my favorite subjects, so just bear with me a little bit. How do you deal with salary? How do you go to the employer and say, you know, how do we get this salary thing resolved? Boy, it's as difficult. Generally speaking, they'll, they'll bring it up, but you should have an idea of the salary range based on your kind of research with Salary.com. There's a lot of websites. Monster certainly has one which probably refers back to Salary.com, or you could go a ton of places. But basically, how salaries work is geographic by supply and demand. All positions are supply and demand positions. And if you're in a location where they don't have high pay scales, that's, that's how it's going to pay. Mile City, Montana is going to pay you less money than Seattle, Washington, if you're a registered nurse, for example. And if you're a physician, you know, it, it would be the same thing. It, it, it all depends on where you are. But how it's brought up, they will generally bring it up. It should never bring, it should probably rarely come up in the first interview, but in the second. And if you've kind of prepared correctly, that issue is kind of like a side item for example, if you're working with a third-party recruiter, the third-party recruiter has probably already vetted what that range is. You're going to have an idea. If that's not the case, then you're really going to have to base it. And look, hospitals do researches and, and, and employers do research all the time. They're going to be within the range. Where the difficulty comes in is with you. And frequently that happens because you, you have unreasonable expectations. So if you want to get your expectations dashed, make up a figure in your head, but basically you can go out and do the research on it and find out. A physical therapist with five years experience working in uh, Boise, Idaho, there's a range that that person's going to be paid and you need to fall inside of that range. It's basically that simple. So when should you ask? Well, if they the second interview is generally when it happens. However, it could have come up have a number in mind that's realistic and live with it and try not to, you know, go banter back and forth. Be realistic in everything you do. And usually when it comes up, it'll come up correctly. And if you've got an employer that's trying to beat you to death with money and beat you to death with benefits, you got to think about, is this a good choice? And remember, choices that we make with employers, we should live with for at least two to four years. And if we make bad decisions be out that, it reflects on us and our judgment, not the employer. This is Dave Klein in Seattle, Washington. Thank you very much.